So what I want here is a darker tree just just round here. Leave a lighter tree here, a darker tree and a lighter tree just to show those some depth there that, that will hopefully uh, show the layering as you come down to the people here. So, so I'm using the Raw Sienna Windsor Blue. I've used the Cadmium Red which is an opaque colour. So what it will do, it will bring that part of the picture forward. So most of the colours I've used so far have been transparent so that I can do layer over layer without it um, getting too thick and muddy as they sometimes come out. But this one, I just want this odd this single bush to be a, a grey green. So I'm going to show this shape. squint in my eyes so that I can see that it stands out against the other tree, not cover the under wash completely leave some of that to give a variation as that's a bit flat while it's still wet Add a bit of brown, just in various places, just to warm it up. Okay, so what I want to do here, I've got this this lane. I want to show a variation in tone across that. So there will be some shadows going on later, but I want to just show that it, it, it's not all the same. You, you'll see it if you look, if you was out there, you, you'd see different... Uh, tones, it depends on how the light's falling, how the surface is broken up, so I just want to show that initially, and then I'll be letting that dry before I put the, the main shadow areas across. So not too much detail at the moment, just breaking up the foreground, slightly darker in the foreground. While that's wet, I can just use the end of the brush, the wooden end of the brush, just to make some slight marks that will, as it dries, they will appear little pebbles and stones. Just separate in here the figures, showing a darker tone. And the figure to the right, suggesting a slightly different coat on that person, and show some hair on these people. The hair to the right, on the right hand one and to the left, it shows that they're actually just glancing across to each other. Beef up the colours on these people so they stand out. I'm doing it with a blue grey. When it's dry, I might put a coloured jacket on the people. But all the while, you're saying the viewer needs to be drawn in, the viewer doesn't need to be distracted. Yeah, that's this it. This is something I haven't thought about very much at all. Yeah, it's like the, the composition sort of, of the painting and why, you know, one painting you do might, might be more successful than, than another one is that the composition works, works better, you know. It's, uh, and a lot of it is just sticking to these basic rules, like having the centre of interest further the way up of the way in from either the left or the right. It's sort of been proven over the, the years to, to be a, a very good way of splitting and composing a painting. 
Just put a bit more detail in the trees here, on the main tree here. Just to show, show a bit more depth. So where, where it's dried underneath, as I go over now, it's obviously adding a layer of tone. It's making that branch just look slightly closer, which will add to the effect. So I've just added in to this tree a few, a few pencil lines. I quite like pencil showing, some people don't like pencil showing in a, in a pure watercolour, but I think it can, can add a bit, bit of interest, especially where you've got the detail like this, as you go to the edge. So I've left this sky, tip till I've really set the scene by finding out how dark and the colours, how they settle down. I hadn't put the sky in, so I'm going to put the sky in now. Not too much um, detail, so it's not really a cloudy sky, it will just be a winter blue, a bit of ultramarine mixed together. Start applying it uh, across putting it on first, not worrying about the shapes at the moment. And while it's wet, got a bit of time to pick up the shapes and form them into the sky you want. Like I say, I don't, I don't want many cloudy shapes. I want it to be a very Simple sky, not to distract from from the trees. So what colour do you mix in there, Andy? Winter blue and violet here to get this shadow colour. I need a lot of this because it's going to cover the mid distance and the foreground. We're going to have a a tree that's just out of the picture here that creates a shadow that's cast across the road. So we would need a fair amount of wash for that. 